Hey everybody, I'm going to show you uh, my little DIY project. I uh, basically ripped this off from another YouTube channel. You can see the link above. Um, the, uh, the, the guy that I'm linking to, he actually has the materials in the description. So I'm going to start out just by showing you kind of what I built. I'm not going to give you an example of how it works until I actually plug it up in my office. So the way my cubicle works, there's metal legs underneath it. Um, it's attached to other sections of the desk that I'm just going to unscrew everything, put these two legs under it and attach everything up to uh, the wall. And <clears throat> so I want to give you a brief overview of how this is going to work. So basically I used uh, a bunch of two by fours and one by fours at the top. And the reason I had to use one by fours was primarily because um, the space between the floor and the bottom of my desk is exactly 27 inches. Um, and these linear actuators that you can get from Amazon, um, they're 12 volt linear actuators. They go up exactly 20 inches and the distance, they're actually about 24 inches long. So there wasn't a lot of room between the bottom of my desk and the floor for these actuators, but I think they're gonna work out perfect. Um, I'll, I'll show you exactly what they look like once I uh, install them. But uh, the idea is that we used um, shelving rollers and you can barely see them. They're almost strong enough for like a, a toolbox or something. They're graded for 100 pounds a piece. So there's two of them on each one. And if I lift it up, you'll be able to see exactly how it's gonna work. So, um, so you can actually see the two rollers under there. And this will go up an entire 24 inches, but the actuator only lifts it 20 inches. And right over here, you'll see there's actually a power supply that has to be purchased. So this power supply converts 120 volts to 12 volts. And it has some connections right underneath that I'll plug my actuators into. But actually the power goes to a switch, which is right here. So I kind of had to makeshift the, the case that my switch goes into. So this is actually pretty interesting. I used hot glue gun. Um, and basically I had a little plastic um, case that a bunch of screws came in. All the screws were gone, so I put the, the, the switch down inside that case right in the middle and I used a hot glue gun and I just poured it all over the place on the outside. It hardened and I'm gonna screw this to the bottom of my desk. I know it doesn't look good, but it's kind of a prototype until I find something else to use. So I've got the two legs and they, the actuators from the two legs, come together, I've got them wired up here. They come together into the top two posts. I'm sorry, the two actuator leads go in. So I got the red and the, the black from each actuator are gonna come in to the top of the switch. And then they cross over. So they cross over to the bottom. So I solder those on and the two posts in the middle actually go back to the power supply, to the positive and negative of the power supply. So whenever I turn this on, this will make the actuators go up, and this will make them go down. And I will be installing these first thing in the morning, and then I'll show you the video of how they work, how well it works. And if you have any questions, just comment below. This is what my desk looks like before. So it's a big cubicle. There's my new legs. I'm basically going to replace that metal leg right there and then that one over there. And there's actually two little brackets joining the two desks up there, but I'm just gonna screw those and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so this is my desk. I've finally got the legs installed. You can kind of see them under there. And I got my two monitors and basically now that everything's hooked up, Luke, you want to push the button? My desk slowly but surely, if you notice the whole sectional thing, it slowly starts rising up. Hey, it off. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pretty loud. People. Let it keep on going. So it'll go up all the way 20 inches. So you can see that there's a, a small gap that's going to remain right behind there. But overall, it doesn't take that long to get all the way up to the full height. Full height's about 
it takes about one minute to get all the way up to full height but i never let it go all the way because it's just too tall for me so right there would be my standing position so i just stopped it myself so i'm gonna get a better look right here there are the actuators and the actual legs and i've got it attached to that part of the desk right there so that it's still very stable so if you see fairly any wobble at all But the noise, I think, is going to be a little bit too much. So we'll find out about that. Who wants to lower it? <laughs> Y'all can take turns. All right, just let it go. And then as soon as it's done, it'll be right back down to where it started. Right, Luke? Yep. Is that pretty easy? Yeah. There you go. Put it back in the middle. There you go. All right, say bye, guys. Bye. bye.